Hey witches and bitches, can I say that? Hey witches, I'm back with another personal vlog. Uh, I know I'm running a little bit late with this one, but it is for spring 2024. Shouldn't be too much of a surprise that, you know, I'm behind. But yeah, just covering my spiritual spring, um, witchcraft that I did, things like that. Couple of personal things at the end. Don't really currently have any channel updates because I normally include those in these vlogs, but I did that in my last, like, vlog where I, that I threw up to just be like, hey, this is what's been going on. It probably comes as not much of a huge surprise that I don't have a huge amount of time to practice magic. It's really hard to focus and find the concentration and the moment of peace for it when you have a baby around. I do have more free time. Like I talked about my last vlog, she's napping on her own. That's where she's at right now. Although she might wake up and interrupt this, just FYI. I do have a lot more time to kind of refocus, but I haven't had like this this big list of things going, like waiting, spells I've been waiting to do or anything, you know, I've just been kind of uh, dabbling and just maintaining a few things, like a money bowl, things like that. Yeah, so it's been like a lot of maintenance. I do have some like general things I'm trying to manifest. So like I said, money bowl is very, very active lately. Um, I'm also using that to help assist with like my husband's business and getting that well, it's, it's flourishing pretty well right now, but getting it more flourishing because <laughs> you can always use more clients. Um, behind me here, I think I talked about this little charm bag in a previous vlog, or perhaps it was when I did like my fertility um, candle spell, or maybe it was like my first trimester pregnancy vlog. I don't remember. I mentioned it before though. So if you recognize it, it is, that was what I used to help become pregnant with my baby. And I kept it around as like a, a safe pregnancy, labor, delivery, all that, a talisman. And now I still have it around. So you can probably suspect what I've been up to, what I'm trying to manifest. <laughs> Yeah, so it's just been like a lot of maintenance and then like general manifestations, nothing super specific with the exception of, I did do the unboxing of the uh, moon spell boxes. I did videos on those. I can link them down below if you guys are interested in those unboxing spells or the unboxing videos for those spell boxes. The second one, I did actually do the spell on camera. So the first one was actually a spell to break a bad habit. And that one I have had awesome results in. In fact, I have the charm bag for it right here. Also keeping this one maintained all the time because it's been working so well. If you've ever nursed. Um, so my bad habit was just, I've been having a, there's a fuzz, sorry. My bad habit that I wanted to break was I'm still trying desperately to lose the baby weight. And I gained a lot of weight during this pregnancy. Like I don't remember if I talked about it in the vlogs, but my nausea was so bad. I had so many food aversions. And then the only thing that like all the healthy foods were my food aversions naturally. Um, the only thing that really helped with my nausea was just snacking, just snacking all the time and eating. And that'd be wonderful if I could just like munch on celery, but celery made me want to vomit. I had many regrettable blocks of cheese, gluten-free crackers, chocolate bars, Anyway, I gained a lot of weight. It's fine. It is what it is. Baby came out healthy. I came out healthy and it, 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 it's what, it is what it is. Anyway, now I'm trying to lose that weight, but, um, I'm not one of those people who was like, oh, I wasn't even trying. I just breastfed and all of it just came right off. I'm not one of those people. My body doesn't work that way. That would have been amazing, but it didn't. Um, but <laughs> when you're nursing, it just makes, I, I have a hunger I have never felt in my life. If you add that onto like sleep deprivation and everything else, it does make it really hard to control like your appetite and your eating. And my biggest issue has been portion control. So not so much eating really bad, um, as it is just like the amount that I was just like shoveling into my mouth. So that was my bad habit. I was working on breaking and so far it's been a total success. This has been very, very helpful. I don't carry it with me at all times. If I'm going out and I know I'm going to be eating while I'm out, I bring it with me, but otherwise I just leave it at home and then I just grab it when I need it. So right along the same vein, by the way, I'm going to talk about my hair in a minute because I did have some comments about my hair after the last video. So kind of going hand in hand with that, I'll just jump ahead and, um, you know, my, my workouts, honestly, my workouts have been amazing now that I'm sleeping again, now that the baby's napping and giving me time to work out. And, um, I'm probably getting like the, the best and the most like 
focused, intense, and long workouts that I've gotten since like before the pandemic. So that has been amazing. And the reason I bring this up in a vlog about, you know, magic and stuff is because, um, I've talked about this a long time back, but I love to use, um, exercise as a moving meditation. I used to listen to music when working out, which I think is what most people do. But at this point it's, it's a little bit difficult. I have to leave the baby monitor on cause it's while the baby's sleeping. And we have some like really nice gym equipment, but it doesn't fit in our apartment. So it, it's out on our patio and I don't want to like be obnoxious with neighbors. So I'm kind of just like working out in silence, but it makes it a really great opportunity to do some moving meditation, which has been so nice. My meditation did take a big hit with uh, my own sleep deprivation and then also not really having a whole lot of time to sit and do that because as I discussed previously, the baby was only taking contact naps or moving naps um, in the car and such. And driving is not a good time for meditation. And it's it's pretty difficult to meditate when you have a baby like right in front of you. So um, not only have I gotten more time finally to do like um, just, just dedicated sit down, focus, clear my mind meditation, but also including the moving meditation uh, during my workouts as well has been incredible. But going back to the moon spell boxes. So the second one that I did, and this is the one that I actually did on camera. Um, this was one to reach out and contact your spirit guides. This one I had much less success with, but I don't think it's a failure on the part of the actual spell box. And in fact, I'm actually going to do it again with the ingredients that were provided and following the instructions and using the incantation specifically from that spell. I think I suffered from, I suspect it was one of two things. So one of them was, yes, I was doing the spell on camera. Now, while, mm, while my meditation has gotten better. And as you guys know, cause I've talked about it a lot. Um, meditation is such a, a, a foundational practice because it helps you learn to stay focused and keep your mind clear. So you're only focusing on what you are trying to manifest, what your intention is for your spell. That's why having a daily meditation practice for magic. Anyway, there's lots of other uh, reasons to have one. If you're not clear, like check out my article and the video I have on it. I'll link those both down below. The article's a little bit better than the video in my opinion, because I wrote it much later after I filmed the video. And so I have more information in there and it's just better organized anyway. Continuing on, um, there's a lot of benefits to meditation, but that's a major one. And so yes, like that has absolutely kind of helped me get back to that level of mental focus and mental clarity. However, with the baby, with my new, you know, mother schedule, <laughs> I, I, as I've talked about, I haven't really been doing much spell work because I just don't have the time and freedom to do it or rather I didn't, I should say. And so, and yeah, it's only been fairly recently that my meditation has really become regular, um, a daily practice again. So I feel like I'm just kind of like, I'm a little rusty, I should say. And so doing a spell while on camera, if it has a clear view, it's a little bit easier for me to just focus on the spell, but let's be real. Sometimes I do a spell and it's a little bit distracting cause I'm, I'm like, okay, is, am I angling this right for the camera or let me stop and show this to the camera. And so, yeah, when I had a, a long streak of, practicing my meditation daily, doing regular spell work. It was a lot easy for me to maintain my focus while filming, but right now while I'm kind of just getting back into the groove of it, probably wasn't a great idea. So that is potentially one of the reasons why I found that that spell didn't quite work. However, I was keeping an eye out. Um, I do keep my dream journal. So I was like keeping an eye out for messages and signs and, and such. And it's, it's possible. It is possible. <laughs> that there has been some contact made, but I do feel, cause I went back, I opened up the envelope and I read what I wrote and I think it was a little bit too general. I think I needed to put something a little bit more specific. Um, so if I received a message, I would say, oh, that was clearly linked to this. Yes, that was my message that I received that I requested, got it. Um, so I'm gonna go back and be a little bit more specific in what I'm requesting information about and guidance about, and I will just not do it while I'm filming. But the reason I wanted to kind of explain that is I, I think it's always good to add a little refresher of like, hey, everybody has spells that don't work. 
Um, and it's always good to kind of go back and examine what you did, where um, mistakes might have been made. And there's lots of different reasons why certain spells don't work, but are totally worth going back and doing again. So, you know, it just always serves as a reminder and also like humbling, humbling myself. I can't stand um, when you have witches or pagans or magical practitioners online who act like all of their spells work. They never have a spell that doesn't work. Like, please. Nobody has a 100% success rate. Nobody. So in regards to like my general pagan spirituality, if you guys know me well enough, if you've been around for a while, you know that a big part of my practice just involves being in tune with nature, getting out into nature, experiencing it, breathing it in, listening to it, hearing it, seeing it, smelling it, etc. And of course, this was something that I'm super excited to introduce my daughter to. Not to mention getting out to nature has so many mental health benefits. The baby is now at an age, she's old enough. And of course, with it having been spring, we're, we were in the weather that was appropriate for it, where I could just take the baby along with me to do whatever. So I really was trying to introduce her to so much nature and wildlife and that's what we did, especially because there was a good chunk of my pregnancy where I couldn't really get out and about. It was pretty difficult. I did spend a lot of time just in the backyard laying in a hammock, but uh, you know, going out and hiking just that wasn't happening. So my husband and I took the baby to Golden Gate Park in San Francisco. We walked around in there. That was also the first time she'd been to the ocean. She hasn't like officially had a real beach day yet. In fact, we're doing that tomorrow. And by the time this comes out, we'll have already been. I think she'll have actually been twice because I'm also going again next week with her. But it was the first time um, like just letting her see the ocean. So that was really cool. I think it was like a week later, we went to Mirror Woods and it was perfect. The temperature was perfect. This is a redwood forest. If you would like to know more about redwoods, I did a video on that and their use in magic. I can link that down below. That was part of my, that was my video response and also the prompt for the backyard magic challenge, which is ongoing by the way, if people were still curious about that or interested in, in making something for that. Absolutely. This was not one of those like May 2024 30 day challenges like no, no no this goes on forever just like go for it I did see a few things that people put out and they were fantastic but anyway I'm getting completely sidetracked it's a redwood forest the baby was so into it she kept like I had her in a carrier for most of the walk and she kept just like tilting her head back and looking up into the canopy up above and cooing at it you like it <laughs> Silly girl. You like a nature already? <laughs> and she also just kept like staring off into the foliage and giggling. And now she's a very happy baby. She has a very sweet upbeat disposition just very naturally. She is not fussy very often and she cries very little. However, um, you usually have to work to get her really laughing and giggling and stuff. You gotta, you know, you gotta entertain her. She doesn't really giggle to herself unprompted. So her looking into the foliage and giggling, I was like, what are you looking at over there? Then I also took her um, for a few days trip to visit my sister and the three of us went kayaking, which was amazing. Honestly, I really needed that. I really needed to get out on some water. So to kind of wrap up this segment, I did just want to bring up something I've been thinking about that I haven't actually done yet. But um, in my city we have a unitarian universalist church which if you're not familiar with that it's more of a congregation a spiritual community where it's more about keeping an open mind okay let me just read it from their website live your values aloud not alone our open-minded open-hearted spiritual communities help people lead lives of justice love learning and hope so yeah, it's just something that I think I'm going to go check out. I'm not really sure when, but I don't know. I'll report back and let you guys know how it goes. I think that's about it for all of my witchcraft, magic, pagan stuff. Um, so if you're not interested in any of my personal life, <laughs> cut it off here. Okay, first things first, I want to address my hair because somebody um, mentioned it in my last video. And yes, I know it's a little bit of a hot mess. It got cut too far up 
and too far back and so now I've been growing this section out okay yes I know it looks ridiculous I'm doing what I can leave me alone please this was the same thing of when I was going through like a month-long process hold on one second the baby is up look at that who's that is that you <laughs> is that you <laughs> yeah you wanna wake hello hi <laughs> Well, I'm almost done, so I'm just gonna leave here, her here for now, which she's gonna talk during most of it, most likely. So I don't have a whole lot to say on a personal note, because you guys can see this is what's mostly keeping me busy. Um, I do have some acting stuff coming up that's in the works, um, just like some script collaborations, and then one project that we actually, I just got my first filming date next month for it, so that I can talk about more in my um, summer vlog if you guys are interested. As always, I like to save the personal stuff for like the end in case you're like, I don't care. But anyway, um, yeah, like a big focus, like a big theme of my spring was definitely catching up with old friends for sure. Um, I am making plans to visit uh, Portland, Oregon in September when I have, I, I've got a lot of people there. A lot of this was inspired by the fact that um, a very, very very dear friend of mine from England was actually in town. I actually met him when we both worked for Carnival Cruise Lines. He still works for them. I do not, clearly. Yeah. But I got, the last time I got to see him was when his ship was actually yeah. docked in Long Beach and I was still living in Orange County. Okay. Now I've moved up to San Francisco and he was on a ship that docked in San Francisco a few times because he was on it for a few weeks. So I got to see him. We got to go visit him, huh? Uh, three times. He's just a really good friend of mine. We go way back and I only get to see him every few years when our locations just happen to match up. Yeah. So it kind of inspired me to just kind of reach out <laughs> to people. I talked about you so much. <laughs> so yeah, him being in town and, and making time to go out and see him, drive up to the city to see him, bringing the baby along. And I was so grateful to have that opportunity for him to meet her. It really inspired me <laughs> to make contact with some old friends. And um, so I went to visit some, some came to visit me. And you know what? Um, I was gonna put more detail into this, but I'm a little, <laughs> distracted now so um it's okay this is the personal part so in my opinion yes that's the messed up part of mommy's hair we already covered that in the video thank you all right clearly i don't think i'm going to be able to keep filming undistracted that's okay best yeah. distraction ever anyway these videos are mostly supposed to be about channel updates yeah. magic witchcraft uh, paganism, etc. Um, oh, and I did have a lot of questions. So no, I'm not quite ready to talk about that project I mentioned in the last vlog. Not quite there yet, but I will be hopefully in the not too distant future. So I'll keep you guys updated when I can. Don't worry. I'll tell you what I can, Yay. when I can, but I think that's it for now. I'll see you guys next time. So yeah, we're waving. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>